All right, Jackie, thanks. Well, now it is time for us to stuff the ballot box, so to speak. Uh, it's a special AM College Week edition of our political hot topics. We got them all on here, and we throw them into the... Uh ballot box here. This we put cool. one hot topic on each, stuff them in, we draw them out, and then uh, we have, to, we have, uh, let me help. <laughs> thank you. It's hey. hard to walk and shoot Talk and yeah, right? No, I get it. Uh, and our guests are going to be weighing in today. They're from college campuses. And I'm a gopher. You're a turtle. Turp. So this is Turp. all in keeping <laughs> with our college theme this week. We've got some upstarts joining us now. First, we have Laura Elizabeth Morales. She's a Republican and a junior at the University of Texas in San Antonio. And we also have Rachel Moore. She's a Democrat and a senior at Lebanon Valley College in Anvil, Pennsylvania. Good to see both of you this morning. Thanks for being with us. All right, shall Thank we start? Let's me. go ahead and grab one. We have, oh, predictions for 2008. Who do you think the Republican candidate will be? Uh, let's start with Laura Elizabeth uh, Morales. You go ahead and give us your thoughts. Who's going to be the uh, Republican nominee if you had to be a betting woman this morning? Sure. If I had to be a betting woman and I had to be idealistic, I'd really like to see Ron Paul get the no nomination for the Republican Party. Whoa! I really think he's a sound traditional conservative. Yeah. Um, it's a surprising um, come of things, and I really think he really sticks to the Constitution and really stands for what conservatives believe in. Okay. Uh, so you know, wait, wait, I think it, that, but it brings me to the other question. Sure. Is there any likely, let's say, top, what are you trying to say? top tier <laughs> GOP candidate? Because uh, if I was a betting woman, I'd say Ron Paul doesn't have a chance, unfortunately, um, for you. <laughs> but who, is there, is there a lack of enthusiasm over some of the top tier GOP candidates? Laura? I'm going to say, having been the idealistic betting candidate, I'd say Ron Paul's got the chance, idealistically. Um, as far as the top tier candidates, I don't really think that they stand for what traditional conservatives believe in. Um, you've got Giuliani out there, who's really an anti-gun Republican, who's going to lose a strong base, especially here in the South. And then Mitt Romney kind of flip-flops on his issues. John McCain, I think, is pretty much just out, but and we really need a strong, solid conservative. And that's running. the young Republican speaking. Let's listen to the young Democrat, Rachel. Uh, on your party, who do you think is going to get the ticket? Make it short, will you? Well, it doesn't really matter who gets the ticket because anybody could be a better president than President Bush at this point. And let's focus on just a Democrat winning in 2008 and put aside everything. But that's not the question. Politics. I said, who would you, if you had to pick somebody? I'm sorry, what? If you I'm had sorry? to pick somebody, who would you pick? I'd pick a Democrat. <laughs> let's put it, let's face it. Wow. Let's face it. She would, she would she would morning that that is so you're, you're gonna make a great <laughs> senator one day um, well let's face it I mean all of the college Democrats you know we're so behind just winning a Democrat in 2008 if you look at all the Republican candidates I mean the, the Democrats are such a diverse group and all the Republican candidates every uh -huh. one of them has said that they would commute Scooter Libby they said that you know they would stay in Iraq and turn it into the next Korea and all of the, the Republican candidates let's face so it so you'd vote for you'd vote for a de so if it was Porky Pig you'd vote for him just as long as he's a Democrat I'm sorry, what? If it was Porky Pig, would you vote for him just because he's a Democrat? Now that's taking a little far, but it so you would, so you do consider who, so you, so so you do consider who the person is, right? I didn't say that, sir. But let's face it: the Republican <laughs> candidates also supported Bush's, you know, non-support on chip programs. I mean, it's time for the Democrat to win. Let's focus on that first. You're all right. tough. All She's right. Tough. All right. All right, Laura. Uh, quickly, let's keep it quick because we don't have time. But mo your most important sure, issue. I'm gonna of, of, the, of, of this debate. Let's get uh, my most in there. Important, sure, my most important issue is probably going to be Social Security. I think that's an issue that's really facing our generation, that my generation is pretty much going to be completely robbed of those funds that we're putting into the government. Um, we really need to get students to really focus on that issue and make that the really forefront for the 2008 election. All right, your most important issue. Rachel, take it away. We, we our issues, my most important issues, and I know the ones from the Democratic Party are the environment, Cut, uh, making sure there's proper support on student aid and universal health care for all, among other things. We can't really be pegged to one issue at this point. We're so educated and ready to go. Can't, right. You can't nail her down this morning. No. But uh, you guys have some interesting perspectives to both of you. Laura Elizabeth Morales at the University of Texas, San Antonio. Rachel Moore at Lebanon Valley College in Pennsylvania. Thanks to both of you for talking with us. Yeah, the tough. She Thank held her ground. Much. I'm not going to tell you who I like. Sorry. <laughs> I like all Democrats.